morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I want to read you that verse again. We've read it for a few days now in Daniel chapter 6 and verse 16. Then the king commanded and brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. And then chapter 6 and 22 says this, My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth. And we've been considering the power of God, the power of God, not only in Daniel's life, but in your life and in mine. And so, yes, this morning we're back to consider the power of God and how it was experienced in the life of Daniel. We see that he would not neglect his duty to pray to the only true God each and every day as he always had throughout his life. He would not change. He knew the danger, but he knew his duty. Oh, God, help us to know our duty and to continue to follow God and to carry out our duty in a way that is pleasing to our Saviour. Friends, this morning, has there been something signed in your experience? Has the doctor just signed that you have cancer or some other terrible disease or whatever it may be and you feel this morning that that signing of the doctor is just like the law of the Medes and the Persians? It cannot be changed. But when Daniel knew, friends, that the writing had been signed, he went to his friend. And often we go to our friends for help. But in this situation, it may be that you feel that your friends are powerless to help you. But Daniel went to his friend, Jehovah. Never forget, friends, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. You see, in the empire of the Medes and the Persians, every place of worship was closed for 30 days. But the heart of Daniel was like the windows of his house. It was open towards the Lord. Daniel's attitude was, I know that the Lord has been signed. I know that as far as uh, humans are concerned, it cannot be altered. But I still believe in God. I still believe in God. And this morning, friends, if there has been something signed and has caused you anxiety and concern, in spite of the situation, go to the throne of grace and believe God, and God will show you his power. You see, Daniel, we are told, was put into the lion's den. The stone was laid over the mouth of the den, and as far as this world was concerned, the situation was hopeless. And as far as this world is concerned, your situation is hopeless. But we are not concerned with what this world can do. We are concerned about what God can do. Never forget, friends, that there is nothing impossible with God. When men can't, God can. When men can't, God can. We are told that the angel came and kept Daniel company and the mouths of the lions were closed. Oh, he could see the lions. He could feel the fur of the lions. He could feel their very breath. He could touch them. And it may be, friends, that the devil is all around you today and he may roar at you today. But that's all he can do. He can roar, but he cannot touch you. He cannot touch you. Today, friends, if God is with you, all is well. God is with you. And this morning, just as he shut the lion's mouth, he is able to shout the, shut the mouth of the evil one as he brings doubts and fears just remember god is in control daniel was not alone in the den of lions and neither are you alone in your situation whatever it may be for god is there with you god took daniel through the problem and god will bring you through your problem how by the power of god prove him today experience his power today and you will have a great testimony just like daniel jesus never fails god bless you and i look forward to being with you again tomorrow morning god bless